Good morning, everybody. I'm joined by Deputy Chief Paul Noel over the Field Operations Bureau. Um, and as you know, at or slightly before 8 o'clock a.m. this morning, we were informed that one of our officers, Officer Tony Mitchell, um, 45-year-old, 19-year veteran of the New Orleans Police Department, uh, was involved um, in a fatal traffic accident this morning. Um, we were informed that he was driving his personal vehicle on the West Bank Expressway, headed west, um, at or near the Ames Boulevard exit when his vehicle apparently stalled. And at some point he got out of his vehicle. Um, we can speculate that he may have been trying to keep other vehicles from crashing into his vehicle, but he was actually standing outside of the vehicle. Um, and as traffic slowed, one car slowed down to avoid hitting him, but another vehicle actually hit that car, which pushed that car into Officer Tony Mitchell. Saw the drug his body along the side, and Officer Mitchell was thrown over the elevated portion of the West Bank Expressway, where he fell some feet below and landed on the lower portion of the West Bank Expressway. Um, very tragic loss. Um, Chief Noel and I immediately went to the scene. His wife was actually there when we arrived. We had an opportunity to meet and offer our condolences to his wife. And we're sending condolences, thoughts, and prayers to her and to the entire family. They have two small children. Um, we met his, his in-laws who were there. And at, at this time, it's just a very sad situation, very tragic situation. And so the members of the New Orleans Police Department are sending our condolences, thoughts, and prayers to that family. Um, and so he was a, a great police officer. Everybody I've spoken to this morning um, about Officer Mitchell speaks very highly of him. The members of the 8th District, the uh, community members of the 8th District all spoke highly of him. Um, but it's very, very, very sad for us to have to, again, go to a family member's house to inform them that their loved one was killed. Um, and of course, this time in a traffic accident. Um, and so that's what we know right now. Um, any questions about the accident itself, we're gonna to refer to the Louisiana State Police who's actually handling that, that fatality investigation. We met uh, with members of the State Police who gave us some preliminary information, but they are actually conducting that, inf that investigation. Of course, there were members of the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office who were there also, and all of them send their condolences, thoughts, and prayers uh, to this family. But this is a tough time. We've been through this before, and, and it's just extremely sad that we're here again. Um, and every time this happens, it, you know, we have to ask ourselves, what do we tell our officers? Uh, and how do we make it through? But somehow we make it through. And this is just like any tragedy. We are mourning and grieving, uh, but we're still continuing to serve the citizens of New Orleans at the very same time. That never stops, even in our darkest hour and our hardest pain. And so, you know, Chief Noel and I, along with Chief John Thomas, were with his wife and with his family this morning. And I can tell you that is the hardest thing a chief has to do, is to knock on the door and or to show up and tell someone that their family member has died in any form or fashion. Um, and so right now, we just want to be supportive of the family, uh, make sure they have everything they need. Uh, but as I told his wife this morning, they're part of a bigger family. We are his family also, and he was our family. Uh, and so we will be with them through this, through this tough time. Um, so right now, I would ask all of you just to keep this family in, in your thoughts, in your prayers. You know, I've never worked with Officer Mitchell, but I've met him many times. Um, he's always been very professional, always had a smile. Everything that I knew about him uh, indicated that he was a great police officer, a great servant of this city. Right. When did Officer Mitchell last work? Was it yesterday? His wife informed us that today would have been his off day and this would have been his weekend off. And so we believe it would have been at some point yesterday or over through the night. Um, and I believe he was on the way to the dentist this morning. Um, it's just uh, extremely tragic. And so, you know, these things come at us very hard. We take it hard, but we will 
nonetheless continue to serve our citizens and deliver police services in a very excellent and high, you know, ex excellent and uh, high capacity as we always do, you know, right? You mentioned that it's been a tough time for the NOPD. Is this the third 